Hello everyone, this time Misha for welcome back to some more old school wound state. <laughs> wound state. Um, we're gonna start this episode with some more updates. And there you go. You can check out the stats there. Right now, 61 combat, which is great news. But you know, today we're not gonna do any quests. Then we're, we're just gonna wander, okay? Hey, okay. yeah, we're, we're just gonna kind of do whatever. Uh, let's talk to the local people. Hey, how's it going? Um, on a trade. Nothing gonna get rid of. No, okay. Yeah, so this is the house where you found the garlic. Is there a good book to read, maybe? You find a book titled The Element Shield. Whoa. Read a book. Within the pages of this book, you will find the secret to working with the very elements themselves. During the Fifth Age, a new ore was discovered. This ore has a unique property of absorbing, transforming, or focusing elemental energy. A workshop was erected close by to work this new material. Weird that it says close by. It's like it knew where this book would be. The workshop was set up for artisans and inventors to be able to come and create devices made from the unique ore, but only in the village of the Sears. That's where I am now. After some time of successful industry, the true power of this ore became apparent as grateful, greater and more powerful weapons were created. Realizing the threat this posed, the magi of the time closed down the workshop and bound it under lock and key, also trying to destroy all of the knowledge of manufacturing processes. Yet this book remains, and you may still find a way to enter the workshop. In this lever bound volume. Okay. That's a good book. I like that book. So apparently there are multiple copies. And there's nothing else is very interesting. Do you know anything about this book, dude? Don't worry about <laughs> don't worry, I will kill them. I will slay all the goblins. And there's a totally mysterious wall over there. Um, so book. Book of the Elemental Shield. I feel like there's a puzzle involved here. Under lock and key. So there's a key. That's what it's saying. Book remains and you may still find a way to enter the workshop within this leather bound volume. Okay, so there must be a way of finding the key in here. The secrets work with the elements themselves. In the pages of this book, you will find the secrets to working with the very within the pages of the book. Within the pages. Um within the book. It's like the keys in the book. Hmm. Give me the key. Hey, it, <laughs> it worked. Okay, okay. Um, I found it. It was in the book. You found the key, and I'm guessing that the thing is right here, the odd-looking wall, in the the <laughs> the blacksmith area. We enter. Oh, we totally can enter. Use the battery key to open the doors. Staircase. And explore this area thoroughly to find what forgotten secret it contains. Oh, jeez. Why'd the music stop? Oh, it was gone. Okay. What do we got here? We have a hatch. Can't get in there. Crates. Ooh, leather. Oh, actually, I like le leather. Leather's pretty handy. You know how long it takes to kill a cow and get its leather tanned? Jeez, it is a pain in the butt. That's why I've gone to flax spinning for my crafting XP. I'm gonna kind of search all these crates. We found something. Water elemental. Oh, there's a stone bowl. Okay. Is that it for crates? Oh, there's one over here. Like. Oh, there's more, there's more crates. 
Okay, let's just, let's just kind of look around a bit. Earth elementals are in there. Along with some elemental rocks, which apparently we can mine. Okay, running's going to be a bit of an issue. We have water elementals in here. Uh, water wheel. Looks like some water controls. Okay. Is this the fire one? Fire elementals? No, these are air. Next to the fire is Mr. Fire's over here, yeah. All four elements. Almost like we're in an elemental workshop. Okay, so in here. Oh, look. There's some bellows. I'm gonna search all the crates. No, it just seems, doesn't seem like we're finding anything else. No, search the crate. Don't, don't attack the air. Don't be punching air. Okay, and the last one we have to look at is the fire one, which probably has some kind of forge, right? That makes sense. Furnace. Ah, that's pretty close. There's lava. So hot in here. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Okay, these last two crates. Now we gotta figure out what exactly we're gonna do. I have a feeling we have to mine this elemental rock. That could be a simple step. Anything else in there? No. Okay, so we gotta mine some elemental rock. And I'm gonna need a pickaxe for that. So I'm gonna actually uh, go grab some supplies, because clearly we're not just reading books this episode. But luckily there's a bank right here. So I'm gonna grab some supplies and be right back. I just kind of grabbed some random miscellaneous things I think we might need. And some lightweight working clothes. You know, I, got, I got my gloves, my fancy boots. A thick string at this rock. Let me get some elemental ore. Oh, it, it, it's alive. Okay. Okay, I guess we're beating it up now. <laughs> Fish. Boom, pear flicking. So good at this. Yeah. Speed this up. dead and we got some elemental ore and a rock nice and he's already back i'm actually gonna kill another one uh, just in case i mess up something <laughs> give me a second There we go. And... Oh geez, we got another elemental ore. And another rock. I feel like that's all we're going to find in here. Oh, there's more crates. I feel like that's all we're actually going to find in this order. Like, this thing's set up pretty for, for for quadrants, you can call them. I feel like all we're going to find is that. So let's actually just take this one quadrant at a time. So now going on to the water quadrant. And I'm fairly certain I checked those boxes. Okay, um, we got a water wheel, some water controls. Nothing looks broken. Not that I can tell. The machinery. I'm actually gonna check these. I feel like I didn't check these boxes. Something's telling me I didn't. No, it's good. Um. Okay, that's now green. I don't know what any of this means. Okay, that, that's a reset, looks like. Is that turned back to red? Maybe it's timed? Run. Both green. 
Now pull the lever. Ooh! Spinning wheel. I'm sure he's the water flowing though. It looks like he's going both ways. But that looks good. We got the machinery up and running. I'd say this quadrant is all filled. Let's move on to the next one. Let's have this stone bowl and leather. Oh boy! It's a genie. Hello. Going for the herb XP. 220. Okay, you're now onto the air quadrant. We got some bellows. Looks like they're broken. Machinery that seems to be running. Nothing else seems to be broken. Some pipes. All seems to be up in working order. The only problem is the bellows. Where did I get a needle? I must have found it somewhere. I don't remember finding a needle. Piece of leather, some thread. <laughs> oh, guess what? I've already found a piece of leather, leather, and a needle. It's almost like they knew this was gonna break. Okay, I'm gonna go. I think I have thread. If I don't have thread, I'll be pretty sad. Cause thread's a far way away to get. So I'm gonna go see if we got any thread, and I'll be back to fix this quadrant. I totally didn't have to walk all the way to Al Kyrid and back to get some thread. It's all good. Okay, let's fix these bellows. Boom, ba doom, boom, boom. This masterful craftsman's work. Bellows, they are good. Pull the lever. Oh, yeah, check that out. Look at those bellows go. Look at them bellow. go and to the fourth quadrant where we now have to deal with lava and stuff oh boy this be a furnace a furnace with an air blast pipe hmm nothing else in here seems to be broken the furnace looks cold though like it looks like there's nothing on um can we do this Furnace is cold and uses for anything. Light the furnace. No, it's gonna make a spark large enough to light this. Wood. You see, my first thought is wood, but wood's more of a food cooking thing. Usually, for this, you want to use coal, don't you? Yeah. Go get some coal. I think coal would work, right? Yeah, coal goes in a furnace. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, I don't know exactly how much coal this needs, but 16 might be enough. It's a big furnace. I don't know how much this coal actually takes up. Is this actually what I need? But this is cold and useless for anything. Not. Okay. Okay, um, this lava, lava trough looks like it's, like, hardening. I have to fix that, maybe? Oh, maybe I have to light it before. Like, the bellows might just be blowing it out right now. Can I, like, turn them off? That makes it cold. Oh, maybe... Uh, okay, there's a hole over there. Everything has to be fixed and working. I like the furnace. This is cold and useless for anything. How do I make the furnace not cold? I like there's something in here I haven't done yet. This is a lava trough. Bucket of lava? Don't hold the lava for long. Oh, oh, stone bowl. Stone bowl. There we go. Problem solved. Boom. Get lava put in. Do I need coal now? No. I think that was it. Okay, let's turn the, the air back on. I think I had this bucket on me. <laughs> you know, th there's like a lot of things you could just have on you at any given time. A bucket 
usually is a pretty good one. Bucket, tinderbox, hammer. Those are like three really good things you should always have. It looks like it's running. Can we? Can I do this now? Oh, boom! Elemental metal. Let's go. And did I do this? One? Yeah, we got two. We got two. Let's actually, test check our questing. We haven't looked at this yet. Let's make something from it. All I need to now is make the shield. Let's make an elemental shield. Boom! Get done. 5,000 crafting and smithing XP. That's like a bunch. 33 crafting. It must be... I think that's one up when I was. You can now craft vials. 38 smithing. That's like two levels over. Oh, jeez. We do now steel square shields. We are two levels away from being able to smith all that gold I have into actual gold. So there we go. We got an elemental shield, and just to be safe, we're going to make another one, get another 20 smithing experience. So obviously, we did not need these rocks, though I really think we should have had to use them for something. Throw them at, throw them at someone. There we go. Check it out. Oh, jeez, look at that. Look at that. Ready? 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 Stop walking. Oh, I got I to gotta check out the shield. Ready? Vroom! Look at that. I feel like replacing what I was going to do for the title. Oh, for the, for the, the icon. Yes. Elemental shield. Yet. Okay, so enough of this reading. Reading doesn't get you anything except fancy shields. Let's, let's, start, let's start, start wandering. We're just going to go this way. There's a path. We're going to follow it. See you down at the other side. I'm going to walk soon. We start recording again. I can run. Speed up time. Loot. So you see, this is where we did the fishing contest, actually. We actually stopped here, we didn't go any further. It looks like there's actually a big lake here. I wonder if you can follow the lake around. But yeah, that, this, is a, this is a lake. And there's a, there's a cave entrance. Don't see a quest marker, though. And that guy's got a pretty cool cape. There are some sheep. Um, let's never touch them ever, please. And continue. Oh, what do we got here? Galerial's tombstone. There's an indent the size of a pebble in center. Realize Galerial, wife of Baxterian, true friend of nature and life and death. May she now rest knowing. Only visitors with peaceful intent can enter. I feel like I'm gonna have to go in there at some point. That is a pretty cool cannon right there. I'm trying to make a decision. Do I want to go up this hill? But I want to help out these gnomes. Or the, these the, are you gnomes? Dwarves. Oh, sorry. sorry I, didn't, I didn't mean to call you gnomes. You're dwarves. I could help out these dwarves. Because they seem to have a quest. I could go up this hill and see what's up there. Let's wander. I'm in a wandering mood. That's really... Look at this. Look at this hill. It's like straight up. Fancy overhanging rock. Jeez, this is tall. Go chop down that dead tree. That's my life goal. To chop down that there dead tree. Oh, there's a little house. Hello. How are you? Ah, hello there. Nice to see an outsider for a change. Are you busy? I have a problem. Well, I am a person that fixes problems. It's my son, Huden. He's always getting into trouble. The boy's convinced his hidden treasure in the river. I'm a bit worried about his safety. The poor lad can't even swim. Want me to teach him to swim? Would you? You are kind. You can use the small raft out back if you wish. Do be careful. The current downstream is very strong. I will be most careful with your child's small raft. Build the small raft and push off downstream. And I broke it. 
Hello, son. Are you okay? You need help? It looks like you need the help. Your mom sent me to find you. Don't play nice with me. I know you're looking for the treasure, too. Uh, I don't think there's any treasure. Just because I'm small doesn't mean I'm dumb. I told you, you'd take it all for yourself. Want me to help? I'm fine alone. You sure? Are you still here? I'll find that treasure soon. You just wait and see. Okay. I'll take your word on it. Uh, swim. Swim to the rock. Oh, oh geez, oh geez. Hi. Um, is up being Palundi, you watched on Steam, but feel lucky to be alive. Well, that didn't go so well. So we know there is a treasure. We must find this treasure. That is our quest, I guess. As to where I am. Oh, I recognize me. Anyways, I know where I am. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's just back up this way. But I'm going to have to call it there. Uh, next episode. Whoa. Now uh, that there's a waterfall. Hey, can we can you just... I can't adjust my camera. Just, just... There you go. Look at that. That there. That's a waterfall. Can't even see the top of it. It's so massive. So, anyway, that's going to end it off for today's episode. Next episode, we'll be hunting down this mysterious treasure the boy seems to be after. And seeing what we can make of it. And that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, wait. Uh, um, wait, I got to say bye. Bye-bye. Uh,